morning. Today is Wednesday, and today we are going to we are going back to the museum to finish forming up that curved wall, and we're going to start putting down some mud today. So uh, a little excited to finally get underway with putting the concrete down. Um, Ethan's going to take the dump truck, go pick up the concrete. I'm going to meet Jose on the job. Um, and finish forming the one end section. Um, and then the customer wants us to draw a line on the outside of the forms to show where the concrete height is. And it's a curved wall, so the line doesn't always, doesn't, isn't going to stay the same because the wall goes up and then it goes back down. So it's going to be a little annoying to draw a line on it. Um, but we're going to use our uh, flexible PVC pipes, just like we um, use for paver cuts, and then uh, draw a line from that. So we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys at the job site. What? We're going to mix the country right here. See. Si. Where do you put it? Okay. Uh, put it in the bucket. Yes, sir. Yo, yo, E. Go grab the blower and just blow in here. I'm going towards the other way to get these leaves out of here. She's good now. So this is a concrete bonding agent called Lanco and it helps with new concrete bonding to existing dry concrete. And uh, I mean, is it a necessity when we got rebar going through it uh, into the new concrete? No, it's not really a necessity, but it does help. And I uh, thought that we might as well use it here. Um, it's the professional way to do things. I mean, we're not professional concrete guys, but we are professional paver guys, so we try to do the best we can. You want to finish forming up over there or? See. Or doing this? I mean, we might as well start finish forming up right now until Mary comes to look at it. We can't start pouring nothing, right? Because this is ready for putting concrete, right? Yeah, after I get done doing this.
Dude, one time in Coach Sarah's class, we had one of the uh, recruits come in, like the army recruit guys. And he's like, so how many of you guys actually know what you're gonna do after high school? And like, not many people raised, raised their head. I was one of them who raised my head and he picked me. He's like, you, what are you planning on doing after high school? And, and you know that you can get it, or you know that you can get the job. And I was like, running the family business. And he's like, you don't count. <laughs> it's like somebody else. He's waiting on someone to say something unrealistic and he's gonna be like, you're probably not gonna get that and your best bet is signing up for the military. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if anybody wakes up and randomly knows the language. It's like a real thing. Well, it's like, I think it's like when they come out of like a um, coma. coma. Yeah, I'll pass on all that. Just because you knew, know, know a new language, you still got to pay your hospital bill. <laughs> <laughs> then they'd be like this guy definitely doesn't have insurance now i know mixing all of this concrete in a wheelbar wheelbarrow is not the most glamorous um but we couldn't get a truck out here to do this job the day that we wanted to pour the concrete so we just took it upon ourselves to go ahead and mix it in a wheelbarrow. We don't do that many big concrete pours, so we haven't bought a concrete mixer. That would have been pretty nice, but uh, Jose's new guy, Victor, is a, an absolute concrete mixer machine himself. That man, I've never seen someone mix concrete faster than that man. Right now, we're all mixing our own wheelbarrows, but eventually, Victor just said to that he'll mix all the concrete and we'll put it in the forms and he wasn't lying i didn't think he'd be able to keep up but that man was mixing three bags in one wheelbarrow faster than we could even empty a wheelbarrow into the form so it was pretty dang impressive um another thing is right now we are just going through and putting six inches the wall is going to extend 12 inches is what we have formed up so we're doing a six inch layer so that, that hardens up a little bit and then we're going to come back and do another six inch layer. And the reason for that is just to help with our forms. You know, you don't want a blowout. The last thing you want is a blowout. Not to say we didn't reinforce it enough, but we're just playing it safe here. So we're doing six inches and then that'll harden up a little bit, put less stress on the forms and then come back and we do our next six inches after that. pretty wet should uh should we start mixing concrete and putting it in the footer or no yeah we can do that underneath yeah, the time when we ready is going to be dry yeah all right let's start doing that we're going to start mixing concrete for the footer over there huh start mixing more bags yeah for the footer we got to pour that footer over there before we can pour that wall. Same thing with my wheel, bro.
Check it out. Yeah, that's good. Where is that little, uh, right there. where? Sitting on the ground behind you, the little trauma? No, not that one. The one that we were using up there. What'd you say, Jose? What'd you say? Uh, what? I got a little one. Oh, no, a big one. No, what happened to your big one we used the other day? Oh. It's getting pretty hard. Getting nice. Fresh pallet of concrete. How's it going? I got a shot, see? I forgot it. I give it the 80 from here. And there is okay. But the thing I gonna do is uh put it put in high. See. And put in some uh some here in the bottom. So. 
Ahora, not running out of these. Ahora, no te jodiendo, maestro. <laughs> ¿Eh? <laughs> Can you go get a two pieces of two horse? <laughs> Funny guy. Let's just pour it tomorrow. Think? Yeah, it's already it's three. If we put in at least the half. You want to do half? That way it's, 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 it's good for us. Yeah. Maybe I can finish putting everything right and we can put it in the morning. That's what I think. And, uh, and then when we put in the half, we can go there and start strip again. the forms and then put the other half. Yes. And then on Friday, I'll come back and I'll strip this. Okay, perfecto. I'm gonna stop and uh, get a couple more two by fours now. And the lows over there, cause he's living in the behind the lows. Okay. I can't get some. Okay. Maybe three or four pieces. Okay. How much more of this plywood? What plywood do you want to make that piece? I'm gonna leave in this three pieces here. Okay. And uh, what we're gonna use in whatever we need more. Okay. You want a donut before I throw it away? No. Okay. Just put it right there and I'm going to take it to my house. Take it whatever you want. You want it? Yeah. Okay. You can drink it with my coffee. Exactly. <laughs>